Hello guys and what is up? Um, this is going to be my money making slash combat stat training maybe guide to Mills episode 2. I'm sorry it took so long but I've been uploading a lot of other content as you can see. Um, today we will be killing grave crawlers. I will show you where they are. So let's load up the map. Oh, they're definitely not over there guys. Don't worry about that. And we are here in Varric and we are wanting to go over to this area. So you walk down here to Barbarian Village and down to Stronghold. So we'll just do that now. Please have some run. Yes, we do. Um, they're only around level 26, I I think. I can't really remember. Um, they're not really hard to kill, so they're quite good for pures. And there's a safe spot if you don't want to get hit, which you can range mage them. Um, or you, if you're meleeing them and you've got around the same stats as me, just bring hardly any food because you really don't need to um, be eating often. The reason these are good money is because they drop um, herbs very often and herbs are around 250 to 300 each and they're always going up. So um, that's a great um, money making method. If you keep them I reckon they'll go to 1k eventually each. Right so once you go down, uh, if you haven't completed it you're going to have to go all the way to the end and you get to this room then you're going to have to go down the ladder which kind of sucks because it takes so long to do. But oh, once you're here, you're on the second level. Yay! You um, you go through this door. You head south through the rickety door, rickety doors. Um, uh, no. Um, here is the safe spot. This guy's doing it. Oh, they're both doing it. Well, that guy is. That guy's just chilling. Um, and what you do is you just sit there. Here, you sit there and range from there. Oh, they're fresh callers, guys. They're not grave callers. I'm so sorry. And when you range them, well, you can't range the safe spot on there. Um, yes, that's pretty much that. You can either do it there, or you keep going through the levels. La da da. Through all the doors. La da da. Should I give it to him? No, don't give him my password. That would be very bad. And um, we keep going through here. La da da. Should you have it all? Uh. Nobody. Nobody's having my password, goddammit. And you get here. And, um, very easy to kill, guys. They're level 28, as I said earlier. Um, the, f the only downside is the cons, I suppose. The pros are you get herbs, you get a lot of money, you can bury the bones, you know, it's quite easy to do. The cons is you get attacked by zombies as well, so it's not only the fresh callers. Um, so that kind of sucks. Um, uh, I think I'll go into that room, actually. It's a bit emptier. And the cons are, yeah, they suck. Um, that in that room they always, oh no, oh wait, oh god damn it, no. Ask me questions, right? Yeah, you go into this room. Basically, you go through the south, then you go west, and then you come up back north, and then you go back down south. The only bad things is you have to try and find an empty world, and because, um, no, uh, yeah, you have to try and find an empty world, which is sucky because. This is a great way to make money. A lot of people have started doing this already because um, Unis, they're called uh, herbs, as the Americans say. <laughs> they are worth a lot of money, um, you know, because people are doing herb lore, obviously. Um, the only problem with this room is they don't spawn very often, which is the only downside. Um, so, really, it's up to you where you go. You could, they do, if you're lower level, you'll be alright, but with me here, you're. Two, three, four hitting them. You know the spawn rate isn't exactly high in this world either. But if you want really busy melee, you want to go into that room there where my mouse is. If you want, if you're a pure, where I went right at the beginning is where you're going to want to head because you can safe spot them. But they are very low combat level anyway, so they're not really going to hit you that often. And if you're just want to, you know, like chill, and it's always pretty much empty here because um people can't wait for that spawn. They they get impatient. But that room there, you get attacked by zombies, so this room, rats don't touch you, so it's pretty, um, let's go for a Rambo. Bang! Job done. Um, this is pretty cool. You get a lot of runes off this too, which is a great plus side. I mean, I've killed five, I think. I've got three herbs, a silver bar, uh, body runes, and fire runes already. I have 126 fire runes. There's a nice nature rune loot. 500, they're about 250 each. So that's about 1.25k or something like that, right there. Um, the herbs obviously free 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 so that's 900 
you get good money off this, guys. It's very quick as well, as you can see. Obviously, if you're pure, it'll take a little bit longer, but they're only... They've got... I think it's 20 HP. That's 2 hit. So that's 14. And 14 if it's uh, 17. 17? 19, sorry. 24 and 26. They've got about 26 HP. Um, so that's pretty cool. Very good to kill. This is a great money-making guide. Guys, um, please check out my other content. Um, I'd appreciate that a lot because... I don't just make these videos for myself, I want obviously people to view them and, uh, you know, enjoy the videos, obviously. Uh, they've got 25 HP, sorry guys, I've just noticed. Um, so yeah, you don't really need food. This is just just in case, but I don't even know in case of what, because they just really don't hit. Um, obviously pure, you may want to bring a few trout. So yeah, it's great money. You could, you know, it's very quick money as you can see I've been this is live this audio so what I've been doing in front of you is real time speed and you can see here two four six herbs three hundred each and I've got about 1.2k worth of nature runes already silver bow you could probably flog for quite a decent price and the fires and the bodies are always good to keep because you can you know stun and get your mage up a little bit uh, I might as well give you a quick update guys uh, I've got a rune defender which is pretty cool I showed in my last vid 71 nearly 72 strength um, HP is quite far off, um, so that's pretty bad, I suppose, HD, uh, HD, HP, what am I talking about? Um, so yeah, this is pretty much the money-making guy, guys, um, it's very good money, as you can see, like, every time they drop fire they drop a herb, and the fire stack up a lot, I, I'm not quite sure how much they are each, I mean, 5, 10 maybe, pushing it, if you always find that one desperate person, maybe 15, 20, you know, keep them in there just in case. <laughs> obviously that's not um very nice but you know if they want them you've got them bump up that price you know what I mean um so I'll just uh I'll just get a full invent and I'll continue videoing when I have a full invent just to show you how much um I'll be able to sell this for and everything like that so guys my audio went wrong again so this is over it Basically, uh, all you have to do is go to the west room, south, and then north again, and you're straight into that room. So that's the quickest way to get there. I was just coming up here, and I was um, this is the part where I was price checking it all for you, showing you how much money I actually made doing this. So I was loading up the good old trusty calc, because my maths wasn't on spot today. I already got a few things wrong. Uh, I was just adding up basically all the herbs, 18 herbs, uh, 300 each. Came to 5.4k. Uh, here I was. I can't even remember what I was doing on this bit. I must have been. I must have been talking about something. <laughs> no, but basically I was just price checking everything I got. And the uh, the rubies in my invent there. Um, I actually got from a random mini game. I didn't actually get them from this trip. But you will get mini games. So I thought it'd be best to include it. I included it last because obviously I showed the price without it. But you got to remember, plus about 300 more because I would have got um, another herb in that invent slot anyway. So it took me around 5 minutes to get an invent, guys. It's very quick, good money. Um, I advise everyone to do this, especially if you've just started up. Some people have started up late. This is the best way to start. I mean, people go all the way down to get 10k. Get the 10k, then just hop your butt back up the ladders and then just do that. You get about 30k in invent. You know, 40k just made right there. You can nearly buy yourself a rune skimmy or uh, the arm that you need to level up anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'll just continue price checking here. Um, yeah. yeah, I think it came to about 20 something K. I can't really remember. Oh, there it is. It was 21k. I was swiggling it around because I was so surprised how much it was. 21k, guys, that is amazing money. I'm like I advise everyone to do this. I mean, it's a lower level thing. Everyone was saying way of making money. Everyone said, "Oh, dragons! I can't do them. What else can I do?" This is the alternative from dragons. It's not as much as dragons. Obviously, dragons is about 40k in invent. This was about 21k in invent, which is still great money. Um, I advise everyone to do this. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, sub, and watch my other content. I uh, love you guys. See you later. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.